Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I just wanted to go ahead and make a little update video. Uh, I have some cool things that I want to go ahead and share. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and make a little update video. Sorry that this video is probably a little bit um, boring, as most of my videos are. Um, <laughs> but uh, here's Shu here. Um, he wasn't in the last video, so I thought it would be appropriate if he was the focus of this video. And you can go ahead and see him. The more I look at him, the more I actually really like the space up that he has now. I don't know how my camera will show this up, but... Yeah, I don't know, like, it's growing on me a lot. I really like this face up a lot now. I was a little bit apprehensive about it before, but I really like it now. So that's really good. I'm happy about that. At least one doll that I have. I don't want to wipe their face up. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have a few little updates. Um, the first one being uh, that... I went ahead and ordered some optional parts for my incoming UNO Assist. I don't know if I had mentioned it when I had said I was going to be getting an UNO Assist, um, but the way they did their pre-order is that you pre-order the actual like full doll themselves and then they were going to have a period where you could order optional parts. And if you don't know, UNOAs are kind of known for having a lot of different faceplate options. They have different expressions and stuff. Anyway, so it was a big part of why I wanted to get in Noah because that particular character I find to be very uh, dramatically expressive. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and order a lot of different face plates and actually hand options as well. Um, unfortunately, there was two hand options that I really wanted that I couldn't get because I didn't have them available and the proper skin tone. Sorry, my camera's shaky. I'm kind of holding this and it's terrible. Um, but anyway. Yeah, they didn't have two of the hands that I wanted available in the proper skin tone, unfortunately. Um, which are the pointing hands and the little hand-holding, clasping hands. I call them praying hands, but I don't really know what they're actually called. Um, but anyway, unfortunately they didn't have those two pairs of hands, so I couldn't order those. Um, but they did have the little fist hands, like little, like, fist... <laughs> Anyway, they did have those hands, um, so I went ahead and ordered that pair, and that's the one that I wanted the most anyway, so I'm very pleasantly happy with that. You can see a little shoe here. Um, and f as far as the face plates, if I remember correctly, I think there'll be five face plates. Um, let's see, so there's a default face plate, and then I ordered the cyst winking face, the cyst bully face, um, I did order the Lucis Yawn faceplate. I'm so happy about that. I wanted that face forever. Um, judge me as much as you want, but I love that face. <laughs> um, and the last one that I ordered, which I didn't even think they would have available, was the uh, Decadent faceplate. And basically what that is, is it's kind of like half-closed eyes. Um, it has this very sort of like egotistical sort of like, I'm better than you expression to it. I love it. I You guys probably know that I love dolls with half-closed eyes that have a lot of kind of uh, angsty expression to them. Shu is kind of the exception here. He's very innocent and wide-eyed. But most of my dolls, I prefer them to be a little bit more, um, like have a bit thinner eyes and have a bit more of a, a I don't know, like a angry, angsty kind of expression, but anyway, so I didn't even think they'd have that faceplate, so I'm really happy that they did. Uh, I had to get one. Um, so yeah, that's like five faceplates. That's ridiculous. I'll have so much stuff to paint, you guys have no idea, because I want to do like an entire body blushing on that, on my Uno Assist, and then paint all the faceplates, and then blush the extra hands, and all that kind of stuff. My cat is right here, by the way, if you care. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so sorry if he's, like, distracting me a little bit. Um, but anyway, my camera doesn't want to focus now. I shouldn't move the camera too much. It's like, no, I can't focus. No. Come on, camera, you can do it. Ugh, there it goes. Anyway, um, sorry, my camera's terrible. But anyway, um, so yeah, I ordered those pieces for my Unoa, and hopefully they should be shipping at the end of March, like they say on the website, so I still have a bit of a wait for that, but it's okay. Um, it's perfectly fine, trust me, like, I don't mind waiting. Um, no news yet on my Soom Centaur. Uh, I don't know when they'll ship Soom. If you don't know, they have, like, a 90-day or 100-day, whatever it is, um, guarantee so that, like, if they don't ship it within that time period, then they accredit points to your account. 
So it's usually, like I said, about three months for Zoom, judging by 90 days. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that'll probably still be a little while waiting on him. Um, and then the last really cool update that I want to go ahead and share with you guys is that I actually did something really terrible that I shouldn't have. Um, I did a thing and I'm really, I'm really happy about it, but at the same time, like, I shouldn't have because I kind of don't really have the funds to, like, I do, but at the same time, I shouldn't have been so reckless, but... At the same time, I really, really wanted this, and I'll go ahead and tell you guys what it is. Um, let me just adjust my position here. Oh, uh, 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 so uncomfortable. Um, anyway, um, but I actually went ahead and on the DOA marketplace, I had put a want to buy thread for a particular head sculpt, and that particular head sculpt is the Mini Fee Nanuri 2014. Um, it's the event head, the mini fee event head that just was released recently. And <laughs> the moment I saw that face, I was like, oh my god, that is a beautiful face. I love that face, but at the time, obviously, I couldn't really commit to like ordering a mini fee of my own. Um, and yeah, so I couldn't really like focus on it too much, but <sighs> I've just been seeing a lot of. Uh, a lot of desire for that particular head sculpt recently and I just keep seeing it around and I was like oh my god I want this head sculpt so bad and I was trying to think like why do I keep gravitating towards this head sculpt like I was just like I it's hard to explain but like I just was really gravitating towards it like I need this for something and I couldn't really figure out what it was until recently and that's actually that I think the head sculpt will be absolutely perfect for my character Hyacinth. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's one of the members of Faustus and Euclid's trio. Um, and so I had intended to get that character as a doll sometime in the future soon since I want to complete my unicorn trios. But I have never really found the perfect head sculpt that I liked for him. I was never really like, you know, very decisive on what I wanted for him. Um, but that's like where the Mini Fee Nanuri 2014 came in. Like, I kept gravitating towards it because in the back of my head I was thinking like, this would probably be perfect for Hyacinth. And like, anyway, so I went ahead and committed to it just because I really do think that it will be really, really, really perfect for him. I'm hoping anyway. And I didn't really want to wait too much longer because as you wait, the prices become more inflated as the demand for it grows. Well, that's usually the case anyway. Um, and there's one on the marketplace right now that's almost double for that what I paid. Um, so I'm really glad that I was able to get one when I did. Um, a very kind person messaged me saying they were selling theirs. Um, so that was really, really great. And they should be shipping it out soon, uh, in the next few days, I'm thinking. So, yeah, um, I'm really, really excited to have that head. It's super, super cute, and I love it, and I really hope that it will work out for Hyacinth. The only issue is, well, A, I can't get a body for that head for quite a while. I highly doubt I'll have the funds to get a body for him for quite a while. But the other thing that's a little bit concerning to for me is I don't actually want to get him a mini fee body. As poseable as they are, the mini fee boys are rather short. Um, they're almost the same height as the girls. There's only a slight difference. And as cute as I think that is, I tend to like my couples to be, or, you know, groups, whatever. Um, I tend to like them to be within the same height. But when it comes to Hyacinth, he's actually considerably taller than both Faustus and Euclid. So I'm thinking that I want to hybridize him. Um, and really the only taller MSD bodies that I'm thinking of, like that come into my head at the moment, are Doll Zone and Soul Doll. Um, and I think... Think, I don't think the resin matches for either of those companies are 100%, but I think that their normal skin resins might be close to Mini Fee, to Fairyland, I should say. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards a Soul Doll body, just because um, it has a bit more of a muscular tone to it. Um, 
and Hyacinth is a bit more muscular and tall and just a bit more boyish in general not quite so um, feminine. Even though I love the, the shape and the hips on one of the doll's own bodies, I don't think it's quite right for him. So I'm going to look into it more to see if a soul doll hybrid would be possible, if the neck will work and things like that. I haven't really done a hybrid doll yet, but yeah. Um, anyway, I hope that can work out because I really do want him to be considerably taller than the other two. Um, so yeah, anyway, my legs hurt, and this is a really awkward video, and this is already really long. I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys on some cool things, um, and yeah, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually going to be having a mini fee head, and especially mini fee Nenari 2014, like, a lot of people really want that head right now, and I'm really, 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 really happy and just humbled that I was able to find it so and also for not a ridiculous price um kind of ex kind of extensive I'll, I'll admit but yeah not nearly as much as it's going for right now in the marketplace I should say so anyway uh my legs hurt so <laughs> here's Shu he's super cute tell me what you guys think of his face up I actually really think it looks pretty adorable, but I'm not very good at face up, so hell if I know. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, listening to my rambling, and yeah.